Hello, Steve here. Hey, I'm excited to say we're up camping. We're on the backside of Mount Nebo, and uh, we just found a nice little spot here, and uh, we're going to enjoy our time here out in the woods. Go for it. Get wet. Should I sit all the way down? Maybe right here. That's chilly. Nice big clothes there. Oh. Yeah, that's I want the pan to get nice and hot before we put them on. Okay. I'll put them here. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's a little tiny one. I'm just doing these with one piece of bacon on them. This is one of the peppery ones, I think. That's peppery, too. Hold them and tag one. So just grab the bread size and then take it over to your plate and let it cool down. Mm. There we go. That looks awesome. Is that all of them? Yep. Just pulled the pan off. We still have lots of hot coals. We could still grill a steak on those hot coals. It's pretty up there, isn't it? The Look at that. Mm. That's good stuff. <laughs> Throw it! Throw it around! She's not much of a retriever, but she has fun. No. I guess I'll try this time. Okay, if you take one bite of that hamburger, no, <laughs> there's not room for me. Roast the marshmallow part, the side on the top and then on the edge. Beautiful morning here on the backside of Mount Nebo. Here in the cottonwoods, the maples. Just beautiful. Beautiful place to wake up. It's time to make some coffee. Well, I'm not even going to clean all that out. 
I'm just going to throw the adjustable fire grate in the top and throw some wood pellets in and get my water going. I'm going to use one cup, but I'm still going to stack them up against this back edge. So I'm just going to put some alcohol here on this leading edge. I didn't bring enough uh, of my fire starters, or I would use that. Okay, so that's going. I'm going to get this started just because... I want my coffee. Now look at that beautiful flame. Okay, you can see that it's started to smoke a little bit. If you open up your wind damper a little bit, then uh, you can increase its ability to exhaust and improve the airflow. I'm also going to lock these handles into position because I'm going to need to pour this water. So before everything gets too hot, this is already steaming pretty good. Before this gets too hot, we'll lock those handles in. Now let's watch that flame as I close that wind damper. See if it changes. You can see the smoke increased quite a bit. It just can't quite exhaust enough. Okay, we have our full boil here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do my coffee lately. I'm kind of moved away from the instant coffee and I'm trying to up my game a little bit and get a little better tasting coffee. Put my coffee in. And we'll go ahead and pour our water. I've got my morning joe. This is for your hot chocolate. Hey, is that water? Yep. Okay, buddy. Oh my gosh. Luke, there's yellow butterflies <laughs> everywhere. We're gonna go on a little hike up the Salt Creek Trail. No, leave a little scrap of garbage at all, okay? Looks like beautiful country. Luke's not wasting any time. He's out of here. <laughs> this looks like a good spot. Yeah. Now this kitchen was pretty cool. Just a beautiful little spot. This has got to be one of my new favorite places. That means we could probably find good water up here. Or maybe this is still all just runoff from the snowpack. Luke won't wait for us. He's just cruising up the trail. We'll try to catch up, buddy. Yeah. We got to pass mom and mom our an axe. He is the weasel. He is the weasel. I have my little boat that I made. We were having leaf races and I decided to make a boat. Let's see how it fares. There's no calm water. Oh. Oh, man. Right away. oh yeah, that's really pretty. I'm gonna go sit in it. Yeah, it's pretty. This will be our little Zen garden. Yeah, I know. I've told you to Zen like people. I'm waiting for you, buddy. Right here. Dad, are you over here? 
I will. I'll put you on my shoulders. We just went for a little hike and uh, everybody's hungry. Just going to load the firebox up with some fuel for um, heating some water so we can rehydrate some hash browns. And then I'm going to do bacon, eggs, and hash browns. And then I think we're going to try to bake some uh, monkey bread. Or... I didn't bring enough Easy Light Fire Starter, so I'm just going to use some alcohol and try to get this going here. And I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, bacon on. Okay, our water's boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the dehydrated potatoes. And I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, bacon on. But this is going to be more heat than what I really want. So I'm going to try just putting the fire sticks across just to uh, see if I can decrease the contact with the pan a little bit and decrease the temperature. Mostly just an experiment. Let's just see what happens. Let's see, I'm going to want that damp or open though because this is going to cover a lot of the top. Alright, we'll let that bacon get going and then we'll pour this water into our dehydrated potatoes. Yeah, eggs and paper towel, that'd be perfect. I thought I was videoing that whole time, but I wasn't. Sorry about that. So I finished off the bacon and I put my hash browns in. Um, yeah, not much I can do about it now. Sorry about that, everyone. I'm just going to put some paper towel over this. Oh yeah. Yeah, come on guys, it's ready. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to get my oven set up. Let's set it to the side. And I'm going to set up my oven. I'm going to put my rocks in. Put my fire sticks in. Oh, but I can't get those in until I get my hot coals. Yeah, go ahead, help yourselves. Just go ahead, go for it. I'll get some of these hot coals up in my roof rack. This bacon is super good. You I want got some, some hash browns in? Big, beautiful no. hot coals. I'm done with it. Okay, that's not pepper, it's just. Um, from the pan, like from eat the all pan. that. It's against the rules, okay? You eat all that. Yeah, lots of heat coming out of this firebox. Okay, let's go ahead and get this up on top. Start preheating our oven. I'm going to move those rocks down onto the bottom. And I think we can just stick these monkey buns in here now. I'll go get them. Okay, because they need to rise I'm, a little bit I'm anyway. I'm going to put a little bit more butter on them. Right, I'll put my thermometer in. heat up. I'm going to eat some of this breakfast. 
And so Rowan, you want this? Yeah, I'll put those in. I'll stick that right here. That looks pretty awesome though. Yeah, they look really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna open up my oven and put my sticky buns in. And, well, just let it cook. This food turned out amazing. Really good. The hash browns and the eggs kind of got mixed together a little bit. Mm. But they're good. A little bit of cheesy yumminess. And the bacon is just awesome. This is some of the best bacon I've had in a long time. Mm. Super good. Okay, I'm just gonna drop one stick into the firebox just to bring its temperature up just a little bit. That'll just give me some flame here for a little while. I'm starting to smell that cinnamon sugar smell. So I think these are starting to get a little bit close. My temperature in the oven actually started going down a little bit. So you can see it's at about 250. So I put a little bit more wood in the actual firebox. Okay, so my temperature never really got over 300 degrees. So normally I would have preheated the oven um, but I didn't this time so and I think that's why is it just was never able to reach that temperature it's smoking a lot because the oil overflowed the pan a little bit let's go ahead and pull these out oh these look awesome babe Good. I don't know if they're done though it's pretty thick in that middle part. yeah there's a lot of thickness there I think we're going to have to keep it going a little while because there's just so much bread dough in there. But I'm just going to let them continue to cook slowly. You see how they turn out because they're already kind of browned on top. So there's really a lot of dough in here. And so I've just been letting it sit here. It never actually got over 300 degrees. It got to about 300 and it started to come back down. What I figured is that uh, since it is such a small oven, the temperature of the actual food is gonna greatly affect um, the temperature of the oven. We just kind of let it sit and didn't really worry about keeping the temperature up. Oh, but look at look that. Look at that. <laughs> wow, how's that? And look how much there is. I mean, ow, let's see if it's done. I'm just going to pull one right out. Same dough or you're done? You know, that top layer is certainly done. Let me go a little bit deeper. I bet it's yeah, done. it's done. I bet it I'm just going to dump it out, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's too much to dump out? No. Those look amazing. Oh, nice. look at that. Whoa. That is Ooh. awesome. Okay, let's that dig smells. in. Does everybody Where have are a, the forks? Where anybody the have fork? a fork? I've Where got it. did they go? Can someone hand me a fork? Yeah. They look at mm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's so good. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. This is hot. Oh, they're totally done. Yeah. Look at that all the way through. That was good. Mmm. 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 Is it too hot to bite? No. Kind of. Kind of, but, but they're amazing. Kind of, kind of. Mm. Put some to the side to cool down for him. He'll like it when it's cool. Pretty good stuff, huh, guys? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, thanks so much for coming along with us. I really appreciate it. 
And please take a minute and check out our website, fireboxstove.com. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate the likes, the shares, the comments. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.